Goddess of Death Not afraid of mutants, huh? You're our kind of guy. Hey there. Looking for Diamond City? Just follow the signs. You have the right idea. Power up. Only way to travel. Nothing to see here. Excuse me. Here the different raider groups are carving up Concord like Christmas turkey. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Boom. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. Ugh. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> You. You want into Diamond City, right? What? Who are you? Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. No need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. <sighs> this place, Diamond. Oh, the green. Right. Don't let you back inside. I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You... What newspaper are you talking about? Mine. Public occurrences. And we're the hard look at the truth. So are you with us or not? Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. Welcome to the great green... Don't let this muckraker here tell you. I'm sure your city's a great place. <laughs> yeah, greatest house of cards in the Commonwealth. Until the wind blows. <laughs> no. Was there anything particular you came to our city for? 
I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have time for any more questions. I... This is ridiculous. Diamond City... I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Right. Hmm, a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um... Stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? Piper's done this before? All the time. Thing is, sometimes she's bluffing, and sometimes there really is a group of 50 raiders just over the hill screaming for blood. So I usually just let her in. Not this time, though. Mayor's on the warpath. Hey, what's brought you into town anyway? Be good to note it down in the logs. I'm trying to find someone. Is that so? Who are you looking for? My boy Sean's been kidnapped. He's just a baby. Oh, look, I'm sorry, but we're under orders not to get involved in missing person cases. There's a lot of institute paranoia right now, and we can't really risk fanning those flames with official action. What if people panic? The Institute? What's that? Ah, damn. Look, I really shouldn't have said If you really want- mm -hmm. I just need a little information, Danny. We can keep this off the record. I'm sorry, but I can't. I got orders. How about we do a simple trade? Money for information. Hey, I don't take- Sure. I'll ask somewhere else, then. Chin up. Maybe someone in town can help you? Head on inside. A show. Hey, Hate it girl. when they bring up the institute. The paper sales? Ain't like folks aren't already scared of them. Anyway, well, the don't let it get to you. Life here is still a hell of a lot safer than the out there in the Commonwealth. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks What's the girl, Institute? So Ever heard of the it's Boogeyman? So Shadowy monster that takes people office. in the night? You well, if you see any that's the Institute. Why? But is they're just wrong? a fact of life around here. Piper. Someone gets taken by the Institute or gets killed by a raider. Which is worse. At least inside these walls, you don't have to worry about the raider. So what brings you to the Great Green Jewel? Looking for someone who's gone missing. Gone missing? Who is it? Friend? Relative? My son was kidnapped. His name is Sean. Your boy's gone missing? That's terrible. I'm afraid missing people don't get found in Diamond City. God seems to have turned a blind eye to them. And with all the fear of the Institute in people's hearts, they've turned a blind eye as well. I'm lost, Pastor. Anyone is one of those. Everyone else may be closed, but Diamond City Surplus is open 24 hours a day. Sure, let's take a look. The highest quality available.
Sometimes you gotta wonder. Does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? That's a fair Told you your luck wouldn't last forever. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. Sorry. I'll come back later. No, that's not what I mean. We're not just closed for the day. We're closed permanently. The detective's gone missing. Don't worry. I can help. Tell me what happened. <sighs> Nick was working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there that they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but... He just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Who's this Skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. done with the real Riley. Where's my brother? I swear I'm not a synth. Don't shoot for God's sakes. We're family. Help. Someone help. Sorry. Kyle, no. Okay, show's over. There are no synths in Diamond City. Hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. <laughs> At least someone in this town did more than just stand and gawk. Nice shot. But I'm going to have to ask you to step back. Got a mess to clean up. All right. I'll leave. Just go about your business. What's everyone still standing around for? Go back to your own damn business. We're so delighted you've chosen us for your shopping needs. We buy and sell everything. From everyone. Always. Let's see what you got. Excellent.
sell everything. Skin packs, ammunition. I'll take a look, sure. Here you are. here to make a purchase? Sure. The highest Hey. My own brother. If you hadn't shown up, he... he would have killed me. What happened? I'm... I'm not a synth. I... I told him. I, I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I, uh... I need a minute. 